Okay, you're talking with Jose Hermida, and hopefully he's Belgium for the first World Cup of the uh, year. So, uh, welcome to the new year, and yeah. uh, you've had a chance to uh, check out the course. I think they changed a little bit. Yeah, they changed a little bit the course. Uh, if you if we compare with uh, last year's or the editions before, it was the course is much more technical than before. It's a new downhill. It's pretty good. Nice. It's pretty nice and. You know, it's uh, still always the uh, awfully the smell in the <laughs> core, you know, the, the famous downhill, the shoulder foam and also the climb. Yeah. But uh, now there are new parts and they are pretty, pretty nice for the spectators and also for the riders. Now, what do you think in terms of it, unlike a lot of years, it's not wet, it's very dry. Yeah. Is it going to make it fast or? Yeah, it's going to be a fast race for sure and dusty also because the new parts they introduce is completely uh, new. Uh, so nobody has been uh, biking there, so now it's uh, a lot of dust and sand, yeah. and it's going to be a really fast uh, course uh, we expect, because the years before it was always a little bit muddy or slippery, and it was slow yeah. race, but this yeah. year for sure it's going to be a really fast race. Yeah. Now how about for you, um, I mean, I think you started maybe racing a little earlier than normal, because you did cyclocross yeah. worlds, and... Uh, many, so, many things, yeah. many, I used many toys this winter. <laughs> That's true, that's true. Uh, I started this year with cyclocross, probably because at home it was uh, no snow for the whole winter, so I couldn't uh, do my uh, preparation on the cross-country ski, so that's why I decided to, die, to do cyclocross. And that's true, I, I start to be a little bit in shape because, of course, the cyclocross is still cycling, so mm -hmm. you get a uh, shape. And then uh, we introduced in our plan also the Cape Epic, that was a yes. good preparation for uh, the whole team. And we think uh, we are in a pretty good uh, shape and uh, in a good way to, to start this uh, new season in the World Cup. So besides yourself, who else are you looking at for the favorites for tomorrow? We are many favorites, you know, uh, since uh, years I think we changed uh, a little bit the, the front page of the results. Mm -hmm. Now there are many young riders or a little bit young riders, it's uh, Neb, Suzy, Absalom for sure. Yeah. Uh, Kesiakov, Paulsen, still always the same riders and probably they have some some new riders but uh, right now for everybody it's going to be a big surprise you know tomorrow's race it's, uh, we never know everybody is excited to start the season and for sure the World Cup season yeah now I guess this year I mean World Cup's always important but this year Beijing only 18 months away yeah. every point counts yeah so. everybody is exciting about that you know yeah. everybody is uh, trying to do as many races as they can every week uh, and go for the races where they have more and more points. That's for sure because uh, the qualification for more, most of the riders is uh, depending on the UCI points mm -hmm. and everybody is trying to catch as much as uh, UCI points they can. And yeah. The World Cup is going to be always, always important, but uh, for sure, uh, once we have a break between World Cup and World Cup, everybody is trying to find a race in Switzerland, Italy, Spain, or whatever. Yeah. Well, thank you very much, and good luck tomorrow. Okay, thanks a lot. See you next races. Okay.